Tots, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you could probably see by the title and the thumbnail, I am going to be giving you guys my take on the Walmart lookbook. These videos are not new. This is not nothing I made up. A lot of people have done these before. And after watching some of them and per you guys' requests, because I did go on Instagram and ask y'all what videos y'all wanted to see during Vlogmas. And surprisingly, just as I was watching some other people's Walmart lookbooks, a lot of you guys requested hauls and stuff from Walmart. So I'm like, this is perfect. I put together a few different looks from Walmart. I used as many Walmart pieces as possible, or at least I tried to in each outfit. But some of the outfits do have a few pieces here and there that are from other places, and I will let you guys know that. I don't have the price of everything off the top of my head, so I will do my best to also include the prices either on the screen or in the description. It'll be somewhere so you guys can see them. But yeah, before we get into this video, just make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss when I post a video. Make sure you add me on my other socials. They'll be on the screen. They'll be in the intro and the description. You can't miss it. And let's get right into the video. Okay, y'all. So let me know what y'all think of this outfit. I absolutely love this outfit. To start with, the top and the bag are from Walmart. My pants I got from Fashion Nova, and then I just have all my high luggy Converse. You can get these from anywhere. But to give y'all a close up, first things first, I have on this graphic tee, this Ice Cube graphic tee. I actually got this in the men's section, so don't be scared to go in the men's section, especially for graphic tees, because theirs are always way better than the women's, like always. I actually got this in a size medium. I don't know why their men's graphic tees look so teeny tiny. Like I held up, a, cause usually if I'm gonna get a top in men's, I'm gonna get like the smallest one they have. I held up like a small, not even an extra small, small it just looks so small. This is a medium I have on in men's and I like the fit of this. So yeah, do not be scared to go shopping in the men's section because a lot of the times you can find some stuff that they not gonna have in our section. I mean, of course this is more like winter outfits that I'm showing y'all, but like winter fallish. This is definitely giving me more fall than winter. But of course, I mean, you got patent leather pants on, every part of your body is covered, you're not gonna be cold. So you can pass with this in any season. And to give y'all a close up on this bag, and it's like this rust color, and as soon as I paired these two together in the store, actually, I didn't know what pants I was gonna do or nothing yet till I got home. But as soon as I saw this color, I'm like, that is gonna be perfect with that ice cube top. That is so cute. Now, overall, like I said, I love how it all just came together. And yeah, you can even add to this outfit. You don't have to stop it here. I leave all of my outfits for my lookbooks, or at least most of them, like very simplistic, so you guys can kind of get a feel of how you can either play the outfit up or down, or you know, because everybody's style is a little bit different. So if I go full on all out the box and it might be a turn off to people that are like a little more simple but yeah you don't have to stop here with this outfit if you like it like this you can leave it here of course you, like I always say you can substitute things you know if you wanted to do a different pair of shoes you could if you wanted to swap things like that if you wanted to add maybe like a jacket or some other type of outerwear to this head accessories it's your world when it comes to stuff like this I also found this little backpack at Walmart that goes really nicely with it so you could wear it like this too see that's what I'm talking about like you can just do so many different things just kind of tweak things until you get them to your liking me personally between the two I would probably wear the little handbag because like I said that's just more my style but even the little backpack is cute I'm not really you know into the whole mini backpacks as purses I don't know I mean with the right outfit I guess I'm not against them I think it's cute but my style is more of like a actual handbag. But between the two, let me know which one y'all like more, um, which one is more your style, which one would you wear with the outfit if you were going to wear this. Okay, y'all, and then this next outfit is definitely another one of my faves. The sweater and the jeans are from Walmart. My bag is from Shein, and then my pink Uggs I got from Journeys. But to give y'all a closer look, I just have on this pink and beige type of sweater. Perfect for the cold weather. And I must say that for me to not have tried anything on prior to buying it, I was definitely spot on with these sizes because I was just looking at them and just trying to like figure out what size I was. I actually got this top in a extra small. 
yeah because they look when i was looking at them they look like they ran real big so that's just to keep in mind i'm like a regular medium so that's just to give you an idea of how big they run i also have on these light wash jeans which are also from walmart this is what they look like from the back nothing really going on with them they're just a solid pair of light wash jeans and i thought they looked so perfect with this whole outfit paired together i got these in a size nine so you know they're pretty true to size you might want to consider sizing up they don't have a ton of stretch i mean you can move around in them and stuff but yeah this whole outfit is just so cute to me i think this is definitely a cute winter look okay y'all and then this next outfit is pretty much just a continuation or a remix version of the last outfit I showed y'all. They're the same exact jeans from Walmart, but I did switch the top and the bag. Now this clear crossbody bag I got from Shein and this sweater, this multicolored sweater I got from Walmart. I got this in a size small because I did want it to be a little bit on the bigger side. An extra small I definitely would have done. And it probably would have fit a little bit more like the last one, but this one, as you can see, is just a little bit bigger. It's a different type of fit. But like I said, it's pretty much just like an alternative type of version to the first outfit I had. Pretty much the same thing, real casual type of everyday winter look. And of course, you can mix and match different pieces, substitute things, add things take things off do all of that kind of stuff to just kind of make the outfit your own this plum color is all on the back this pink is on the front and on the sides and then it also has like this pretty like melony type of color i had a small little melon bag that i felt like would have looked cute with this outfit but then like with the other pinks and stuff i was like that might come in and start clashing and looking like it's too much so i'm gonna stick to a clear bag but yeah let me know what y'all think of this outfit i really like it all right child and then this outfit i just have this blue and black theme going on the jacket and the top are from walmart my bag is from akira these jeans are from fashion nova and then my dunks are from stock x you can pass with this to a lot of different places up close this is the jacket i believe i got this in a size medium and it fits pretty good it's relatively lightweight so it's not going to do much for actually keeping you warm but it's a really cute piece to add to your outfit underneath i just have on this long sleeve black top i tucked it in to give it that bodysuit effect i'm honestly not feeling how this one is fitting in particular i got this in a size small but it's still not giving me that super tight tough look that i want i mean i'm kind of finessing it because I, of course i have the jacket on over it and then once again this bag is from akira and then these are the canopy jeans from fashion nova i really like these i pair these with a lot of different outfits in my lookbooks because they're just like the best most versatile everyday black jeans they do have two rips like right across the knees but I mean, you can pass with that still all year round. And then my dunks make this outfit very casual, very played down, dressed down type of look. And I also decided to put on my silver Pandora necklace with this outfit because I just love how silver looked with this outfit all together and definitely needed silver and not gold accents. There is also a silver chain in the bag, so I was pretty much left with no choice but to do silver. Okay, y'all, and then this next fit is definitely giving me holiday season is definitely giving me christmas i don't know about y'all but it is for me let me know what y'all think pretty much this whole outfit is from walmart the sweater is the pants are the bag is the only things that are not from walmart is my accessories my uggs yeah my accessories and my uggs everything else is from walmart but to give y'all a more close up this sweater is obviously the main focal piece of this outfit it's like this mixture of gold and beige i know i got this in a size small these just looked really big to me so i decided to size down and i'm glad i did because like i said this is a small and this is exactly how i want it to fit but yeah i just got these solid khaki pants there's nothing really going on with them and these are very stretchy material i believe i got these in a size eight to ten i don't know because they split their sizes yeah these pants are eight to ten and they have a lot of stretch to them i don't feel restricted at all of course i paired the outfit with my brown uggs you can get those anywhere that they sell uggs i just have this brown oversized handbag which is so cute and of course i decided to pair this outfit with gold accessories because the main color of the outfit is pretty much nude and gold so why wouldn't i use 
go to accessories, right? Any type of casual winter day, I'm pretty sure you can pass with this outfit because, I mean, it's really not doing much, but you still look cute. You still look very put together. And like I said before, this is just my opinion, but I feel like this outfit is like somewhat festive too, so. I don't know that's just what i think and if you wanted to kick it up a notch you could even pair it with like a cute hat this is what i'm giving with the hat on personally i'm kind of like stuck whether i would wear this outfit with or without the hat i don't know i think both are cute but yeah if you want to add a little something extra to the outfit you could throw this hat in and this one is from target this one is from target it was like five dollars so Okay y'all, so for this fit right here, this is actually one of my favorites throughout this whole haul. Now this fit, especially if you're gonna try to pass with this in the winter time, you might have to make a few alterations. The jacket and the bag are both from Walmart. My jumpsuit is actually from Shein. It's just this brown spaghetti strap type of jumpsuit that I threw this jacket on over. And then I have my brown Yeezy foams on. But to give y'all a close up on the actual pieces from Walmart, like I said, this jacket is from Walmart. It was relatively affordable. I don't think it was no more than like $25. Yeah, I'm looking at the tag and it's $16.98, so yeah. But it's just this khaki and pink type of plaid jacket. It's pretty light. It's not like winter coat keep you warm. So that's just something to keep in mind. So you might wanna where to set your own wrist, depending on how cold it is. I got this jacket in a size medium, it's so cute. And then I also got this bag from Walmart, it's just this brown ruche type of handbag. This one is on a bigger side. They did have smaller ones. I actually got one that was smaller in a different color, which I will see in another outfit. But yeah, this is so cute. Now back to what I was saying about making alterations. Again, depending on where you're at, if it's a little too cold to pass with Yeezy phones with no socks, which in most places it will be, I would recommend finding you like some cute socks to like put on with this and then just have like your socks. So like whole outfit, it is cute socks to kind of mesh it all together and so you won't be freezing cold. But yeah, I didn't put no socks on because I don't have no socks on hand that look good with the whole rest of the outfit. So I'm like, I'm just trying them on with nothing. I wish I did have some socks so that I could see the whole outfit as a whole. But uh, yeah, unfortunately I don't. All right, child, then this next outfit I really do like. The jacket, the top, and the pants are from Walmart. My Uggs are from Journeys, and then this bag is from this, this is from this boutique that I found on Instagram. I'll link it down below. But yeah, up close, I just have on this flannel type of jacket with this plaid print. It's like this black, gray, and white plaid print. I absolutely love this. This is actually thick enough to wear as a coat. Of course, not a full-blown winter coat, but like if you were gonna go out somewhere for the night, as long as it's not like freezing, you could pass with this all night. With it open and everything, you'll be fine. But yeah, underneath, I just have on this solid white long sleeve type of turtleneck. I absolutely love this. I tucked mine in to give it like that bodysuit look, but it's actually just a long sleeve top. It, it's not a bodysuit. If you wanted to untuck it, of course you can do that. I like the tucked in look, so that's what I did. And then as far as these gray coated type of pants, I also got these from Walmart and I really do love these. I almost missed them, but they caught my eye like right as I was leaving, so I'm like, yeah, I gotta get those. These are also very stretchy. I don't remember what size I got these in. I believe they're a medium. That's pretty much the size I got all the pants in. And like I said, I just threw this all together with my Uggs and this black tote bag. And maybe, 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 if I found the right one, I feel like this outfit would just be kicked up like two more notches if it had like a nice little scarf to go with it, like tied around and then like let the scarf hang. That would be cute if it was the right scar. And like I said, it's just like this grayish black type of theme. This is about how far down the coat goes over me. I'm 5'1 and it completely covers my foot. Oh, and I'm just sitting here thinking of stuff as I'm standing here. But some big black, dark, oversized glasses with a hat and everything. Girl, that'd be so bad. All right, y'all, and then this outfit, I stuck to a monochromatic type of thing with all these different variations of blues. The top and the jeans are from Walmart. My bag is from Akira, 
and my shoes are from Stock X. This is what the outfit is giving close up. This blue sweater, it just has like these different variations of blues, like this light blue, which is the main color. It has this little hint of like indigo in it. I don't know if y'all are picking up on all of it. It has this little hint of gray in it. I started to pair this with my gray Uggs to kind of like bring out that gray a little more and then do a different bag and stuff. But then I was like, Let's try monochromatic blue look. The jeans, they're just these dark blue solid jeans. They have one little rip in them. I think the placement of the rip is a little weird, but I mean, that's just a matter of opinion and what you like. That's what the back is giving. Just real solid all over, nothing too crazy. And I've had this bag from Akira for like a few years now, so. You know what, I wasn't even thinking. It would have probably been better to wear silver accessories with this outfit because Personally, I think blue and silver look much better together than blue and gold do. And then I do have a silver chain in the bag, so I wasn't even thinking. But yeah, let me know what y'all think of this one. I like it overall. I got the sweater in a size medium and the jeans are in a size nine. That's how those are fitting on me. The jeans have a good amount of stretch to them. Not like super duper stretchy, but a good amount. And yeah, once again, let me know what y'all think of this one. So that is all I have for this video today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know which outfit was your favorite, which ones did you like the most, which ones would you wear, where would you wear certain outfits to. If you would make any changes or substitute different things, let me know what you would do with what. Just kind of give me your feedback in the comments. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up for more videos like this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the bell so you never miss when I post a video. Make sure you add me on my other socials they'll be back on the screen they'll be in the intro and the description you can't miss it thank you guys once again for watching and i will see y'all in my next one bye y'all